This is the hardest part. <gasps> I have a thing. <laughs> I win this all. This edition of Cooking with Strider. I found a really quick, really good recipe and I want to share it so bad. So here we are. It's called Weeknight Baked Gnocchi. How do you say that? Gnocchi? Anyway, it's super easy. These are the players. Ninja's ready to cut. So if you're cooking this right now, right now, you would be preheating the oven to 425 degrees and you would lightly butter. Oh, we're gonna do that actually. Let's lightly butter this. I am pre-prepping because I have an ENT appointment. What, what? So let's pre-do this ahead of time. Looking good. What is this? Butter spray? Butter spray. Also good for sleds. Now we're gonna cook the meat. So we're gonna preheat this to medium. Medium? Medium. Medium high. What does that mean exactly? So there's high and there's medium. A little closer. Put a little bit of oil. If you want to be specific, it is a tablespoon. If you don't want to be specific, make a swirl. You're going to be dumping the juice anyway. So here we go. Preheating. Well, that happens. Let's go over to Ninja and let's chop up this medium onion. Onions chopped. Okay, it said small onion. And it also says to do only three of these cloves of garlic, and uh, <laughs> I like garlic, so we just put a lot. Let's mince this guy up. And now we need a quarter cup of this, but we've run out of room. I have an apple cutter. Okay. Fourth cup, that's about that much. I just, I like parsley too. All right, that's all done, and that's ready to be warmed up. So we're gonna add the ground beef and the onion, and I got a pro tip for ground beef. So I found out that if you just put it in there for like five minutes and just let it burn, it has little crunchy crispy parts. The whole thing doesn't taste burned, you just get those crunchy crispy parts. I need scissors. So let's let this sit for five minutes. While that happens, let's cook our gnocchi. I had two kinds. Last time I tried the potato just by itself. This time we're gonna try it with basil. So let's put this away for later and let's get that ready. We fill this up with water and we put a little salt. What is that? Nothing, we're good. I'm just following the directions in the package. This is to boil for two to three minutes. So let's get that ready to boil. Oh, that's done, good timing. Now let's go ahead and add the onion to our burn and then we'll start moving the meat around to cook it. Now we move the meat around. I'm gonna cook this like I cook my bread spaghetti though. So let's add some salt. Did this last time and it was delicious. Add some pepper. Lemon pepper. Add some lemon pepper. That's about a half teaspoon to a teaspoon, who knows? <laughs> I need a seasoning. Same deal as the other. Half teaspoon to a teaspoon. Who knows? Some chili powder for the kick. Little bit of chili powder. And that'll do it. If I didn't add garlic, I'd be adding garlic powder, but here we are. Three to five minutes until this stuff's brown. That's mostly brown, so now we need to drain the excess fat into my little cup here. Wait. Where's the thing? Where's the thing? All right, excess. Nope. This is the hardest part. <gasps> I have a thing. <laughs> I win this all. Oh! It's not draining from the right spot, but whatever. Kept it mostly. This thing was worth every penny. It took some out. Now we add the garlic for about a minute until it smells good. It smells so good. All right, now we're gonna take fourth cup of my wine. Now it says a dry wine. I have a Tempranillo because that's all I had. Who knows if it's dry, but I used it last time and it was so good. Now we're gonna scrape the bottom for the brown bits. <laughs> no brown bits down there. This is a pretty good thing so you don't get brown bits stuck to the bottom. There are brown bits inside. Oh, it smells so good. I'm gonna start making my spaghetti like this with a little bit of wine. Oh. So good. Already the smells with that Tempranillo. So good. Whoever came up with this recipe, who was it? Weeknight Baked Gnocchi is brought to you by Dang Delicious. Now for my rose marinara sauce. Ugh. We are gonna bring this to a boil, heat and let it simmer for five minutes. Ground beef, you're the loudest of them all. Let's bring it to a boil and then lower it down. And don't forget to clean up as you go. All right, that's a boil. Simmer for five. Hurry and boil. While we're waiting for that, let's chop these up into little pieces. So what happened last time is I got these chopped up and then when they bake in the oven, I put the broil on so they would be a little bit charred on top and they were so good. It was like crunchy mozzarella. You have to do it that way. I do not want to tell you how long it's taken me to open these things. <laughs> I'm gonna use something else, but that's all I had. Some string cheese. 
don't even know why I have string cheese. Nobody eats them. Ah! Open! It's the last one. Got it! Ugh. And I had those little mozzarella balls, I would have done that, but I'm gonna cut them into these little parts because I was trying to emulate the mozzarella balls and I really loved how tasty they were. Yeah. All right, put that to the side. Let's see if our, <gasps> it is, it's a boiling. All right, let's throw these guys in carefully. Carefully, Strider, carefully. Carefully, carefully, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Okay, so two to three minutes, they should float. Let's take this. Well, that just mixed that. Okay, two to three minutes, I say break it up before it goes in, but I forgot to do that. Two to three minutes, let it boil. And it looks like that's one minute away from it's finished, but it could stand to do another minute. Where'd our drain thing go? We're gonna need that. <laughs> They're floating, they're starting to float. What happens if I squish them around? They're starting to float, they're starting to float. Everything's looking so good. Okay, those are floated. Let's put this guy on here. <laughs> Check this fat boy out. Now we shall drain properly without losing anything. Hey, I love this thing. I love gadgets. Okay, need two hands. <sighs> now it's time to put this right in here. Easy strider, easy. Okay, then we're going to add our quarter cup of Parmesan. And then we're going to add our lovely parsley. And then we're gonna stir it and let it do this for one to two minutes so that it combines forces. That already looks tasty, like getting my belly right now. Well, that's a stick of parsley if I've ever seen one. See those little burnt bits? Those are the best, we're gonna fight over them. Now we're gonna put it in here. I need two hands, but that is really hot. Yum, look at that. Oh, it smells good, I can smell the wine. So if you're cooking this right now, this is the part where you would literally put in the cheese. But if I put in the cheese right now, it's gonna melt, and I don't wanna do that. So I'm just going to put some foil on it, put it in the fridge, and wait till I come home for dinner and pop it in the oven. So let's come back to that. Well, it's another day. That ENT appointment took four hours. <laughs> Three of it was waiting. Okay, so here it is. I've never had it for a whole day, so let's see if it turns out good. So here's the next step, which is easy peasy. I took my little chunks, and I'm just gonna put them everywhere. Every, you know what? <laughs> it's not like it's gonna ooze into it. <laughs> just make it easier on me. Why am I going one by one? Oh, mama, are you hungry too? I'll cook for you. I should make your little cat cupcakes. <gasps> Next video. Now it's gonna go into our 425 oven for 25 minutes. Yeah, 25 minutes. I'm gonna come in a little bit earlier because 25 minutes, uh, because I'm gonna broil the cheeses. And then I'm also making these little rolls for Eddie because he likes them. It just went off. And look, not burnt crispies yet, so. Let's just broil it for like four more minutes. Broil, start. Kitchen timer, four, start. We have that much more to go, but I just took a peek. Oh, look at that. Look at that yumminess. Nah, let it go the full amount. Now listen, you have to take my word for it on how delicious this is. It's so good. Good on you. Wake night, bake gnocchi, so good. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We already had this. It's out of this world. We'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Mama, I know, Mama. I'm gonna make you some kitty cupcakes next time, okay? Oh, almost forgot to tell you. Uh, Parmesan and basil, yum. Okay, we'll see you next time. Bye bye.